Welcome to the... Oh, shit. To uh, Beer Right Back. <laughs> <laughs> the Lounge Brewing... Brewing? Beer. Welcome. This is great. <laughs> Welcome to Beer Right Back. Oh, man. The Lounge Beer Podcast. Thank you. Yeah. Today, <laughs> we have a six-pack of various beers. Where today, we're doing a theme. Our theme is beers that go well with wings, as a pairing to wings. And so we have a couple of different styles. Join us once you grab this six-pack and enjoy it with us. Grab some wings while you're at it. Go, yeah. go get some uh, buffalo wings. Have a beer with us. Wow. Uh, we're starting off today with uh, Firestone Walkers 805 Golden Ale. Like, pretty widely available throughout the nation. Something you can probably find at home. Grab one and some wings and partake with us. I think a gold nail is perfect for a plate of wings. Kind of light and spirit. crisp. Well, yeah, so we have a variety of different styles. Golden ale. We have a couple of IPAs, a couple of pails, and then one... Lager? Lager, yeah. So kind of mixing it up a little bit and seeing what goes with wings best. Right. Starting off with the 805, you guys want the... Uh, are we doing wings oh, first? Oh, yeah, let's, let's take a bite let's, of this let's, wing are we, cheer, are we cheering wings, or are we just going <laughs> to... Let's, let's not. <laughs> we did. Mm. Damn. Good wings. Gentlemen, cheers. Cheers. There it is. Classic. Just, oh, yeah. Three guys, the sports bar, <laughs> throwing back some brews and. Packer game on the, on the TV. <laughs> Perfect. 805 is a good beer, especially with food. Mm. Right. I don't think that 805 is a great beer to have alone, but with wings or pizza or some other greasy, maybe spicy food. It's perfect. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of, um, yeah, I almost want to talk about the wings more right now, but uh, <laughs> on its own, there's not a lot going on, but I think that's its advantage is it leaves a lot of room for that sort of like, I guess, like other flavors to be kind of playing on your tongue there. The, the problem I have with drinking beer with food is that I find that it kind of makes both taste worse in most cases. Mm. I have a really good beer and a really good meal, but when you mix them, it just feels like you would eat food and it changes the flavor of the beer when you drink the beer. Oh. And then you eat the food. I, I just, like, a lot of times I eat food and I want water or a soda or uh, something I to see. go with my food. Yeah. Wings and pizza almost demand a beer, right? They're, mm -hmm. like, right. made for having a <laughs> yeah. beer. And I think these kind of beers, these, like, lighter-flavored, crisp, light beers mm -hmm. are perfect for that. And even, like, beyond flavor, I think there's my cultural consciousness of just, like, that's what humans have done for thousands of years is right. gotten buzzed and eaten. Meat and beer. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is modern-day mutton. This is just us right. yeah. chowing down. Yeah. Just on a... On a ham shank, right? Perhaps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little smaller, but just a little bit yeah. smaller. Even with all of the hormone and pumped. Yeah. <laughs> but then they didn't have buffalo sauce, so yeah, yeah. there you go. Or, or Cool Ranch, so. right? I, mean, I really, I think it. The spicier the sauce, the better the beer is. Following, mm -hmm. um, just in my in my purview, I think that the spice makes you instinctively want to drink the beer, and the beer is not alcoholic enough to increase the intensity of the spice mm -hmm. and it kind of cools you down a little bit and 805 does exactly that firestone walker knows what they're doing they're a good brewery yeah some of their we've had a couple of their barrel aged beers that were not as great not as memorable i don't think is it their rum they made that there was like mm -hmm. six months where it seemed like everybody was making a rum barrel aged beer right and Liking rum, I kind of thought I was going to enjoy those beers, and turns out I really, I don't know if I found one that I really like. Yeah, it was okay. I do like their, um, they do uh, Nitro Merlin and regular Merlin. Right. I really yeah. like Merlin a lot. It's a good dark beer. Not good with wings, probably. I doubt it. <laughs> mm. And a little bit more expensive than a tall boy at 805. So. Good maybe with a <laughs> slice of chocolate cake, but maybe That's not with wings. That's a too decadent. Oh. Chocolate cake and a, a, a dark stout. Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no bitch yeah. <laughs> What do you take me for? 805 was almost the first brewery I ever went to um, We went on a vacation to You mean Firestone Walker? What did I say? You said 805, 805. was the brewery <laughs> well, That's your zip code, I was close oh. <laughs> Firestone Walker was the first brewery That I almost went to uh, We went on a vacation to uh, uh, The beach near there And I was begging my dad To take me to go go inland a little ways to go to Paso Robles, mm -hmm. and uh, we ended up not going. I wasn't 21, so it's not like I was going to be drinking oh. anything there. <laughs> but 
Uh, we ended up going to the gas station. This was a little, like a Chevron or something, mm. like, like a little shitty gas station. And they had like six packs of Budweiser and stuff. They had a bottle of Firestone Walker Sticky Monkey, which is their bourbon barrel aged bourbon or whiskey. Uh, it's one of their barrel aged beers. And it's one of these beers that I think is like kind of difficult to find in most of the country. And then here I found it at a gas station. It was $14 <laughs> for this bottle. For how big of a bottle? It was a bomber. Oh, okay. So it's not, not unreasonable, but it was just like, again, I wasn't 21, so my parents bought it for me, and I took one sip, and I went, I don't like this. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's whiskey, and I don't like, I, at the uh, time, I really didn't like whiskey, right. but it was just funny to see that at the gas mm-hmm. station. I think this is a good standard for with wings. I think as we go through the rest of the six-pack, this will be something that it's all the other beers are judged against, probably. Right. Um, and for that reason, I don't have much to say about that right now, but maybe further on I'll have more to say about that. Right. Um, just as this beer is alone, I'd give it a 60. I was thinking the same same exact number. Yeah, it's just sort of a, it's a, it's a good beer, but, you know. It's not bad. It, it, it's better than Bud. Oh, yeah. Definitely benefits, though, from eating something spicy and, or fried and greasy. <laughs> 60 works with me. Um, I was actually, I was eating pizza with my dad. I kind of like, we gave Tower Station an 80. I went into that like restaurant and I was 